So there's a requisite amount of times I have to hit it. I could have used knowing that. I know you want to continue living. After all, you were just born, bud. I want to live too, like all other human beings. Okay. Hi, guys! Damn, there's no end to this! If only we could get this to Aya. What are those? There are bullets with ASL with ISLs in them. So that's what you're trying to give her! But I think it's too late now. There's nothing we can do. Aww. Stupid, give them to me! I'm gonna do something really dumb! Having some trouble there, honey buns. Itchy head. His head looks like a penis. Hi, Daniel! This is a bad idea. This is a bad idea. You're on fire. You should get that looked at. Ah, at least he got the bullets to her. Ha! Ha! I put him out and should have killed him from that height. Sniff. This is from Meta? Okay, do we have Meta's gun equipped automatically? Do we, do we, do we, we do. Okay, good. Now, as you can all see, 9,900, or 999 points of damage. It does max damage. Which means just pelt it until it's dead. No point in using Liberate. No point in anything else. Just pelt it until it's dead. Yay! It dead. Kind of. Now it's time for one of the creepiest parts of the game. Also, that's disgusting. I think ASLs are the antithesis to ease. Hmm. Who would have thought? Also, skull. Why is there a buzzing in my ear still? It's still alive! <sighs> Fucking of course. Yep. Oh my god! I I know, right? There's gonna be something on this cure to get rid of this. And guess what, guys? Yeah, if he touches you, you're dead. You can't save. You are just boned. Also, the music's not helping. Don't even try saving in this room. There is a save point, but he will catch you if you try to use it. The engine room. Gasp. Also, there's wrong ways you can go. If I go one of those wrong ways, I think I might- I'm liable to just kill something. Um, I think we have to go this way. I think. Ah, eh, stop with the music! You're raising my blood pressure! Go this way? Yes. Blood pressure, going up! Wrong way! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! God, game, don't scare me like that. <sighs> okay. We go up from here. I believe. Jesus, the, the music just keeps speeding up! We go down from here. scariest part of the game by fucking far engine room motherfucker the, if the boiler pressure shoots up I can blow the ship to bits do it honey buns also he's still fucking there great know where we are we're in hell's kitchen cool still time to run cause he's still gonna fucking chase us Okay, okay. You can do this, Scarlet. Keep running. Keep running. Keep running. Just keep running. Just keep running. How does he open doors? Ooh. Okay. Oh, hi, you're getting close. 
How are you gonna get up them stairs, huh? Oh, you can fly! I'm calling bullshit on your ability to fly, motherfucker! Run, Aya, run! Scarlet does not enjoy being chased by shit. Especially things that ends to kill you. And when I got really, really close to it, Them's was bad. Them's was bad. But hey! She's okay. Yay! Daniel's probably boned, though. He fell from a very, very high height. Water don't part like- Nope, nope, Daniel's completely fine. Not even a broken bone. What? Okay. Oh, look at those uh, cardboard cutout police officers in the background. It's finally over. Dot, dot, dot. Stopping Squall. I don't understand. Why do I have this power? It is because Maria, Maya is inside of you too, Aya. Aww. What? When your mother and your sister died, they transplanted a part of your sister into you. How did she not know she had major surgery? Into me? Yeah. When you were seven, you probably don't remember any- I can remember a lot from when I was seven, Daniel. <laughs> you were born with a defect in your right eye, and so Maya's cornea was transplanted into your right eye. My right eye? Then, then what I saw when I touched Eve was- it said, it is said that when you have an extreme experience, what you see then is branded into the cornea. But this hasn't been scientifically proven. That was Maya's last memory? The last thing she ever saw? As for her mitochondria, there was an Aya's body. I think it underwent a different evolutionary change than Eve. By living symbiotically with Aya's mitochondria, it still possessed Eve's power. From there, it evolved to the point where it could live symbiotically with the human nucleus. Okay? <laughs> Me and Maya are mitochondrial power. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't make much sense either. Starting with the incident in Japan and now this. I wonder if this is a message to all mankind. Message? What kind of message? How can I explain? If the Earth is a single human being, we humans that invade the Earth become like viruses out of control. In essence, we are upsetting the natural balance of the body. This is definitely utter destruction. So this entire game is an environmental service announcement. No, we're, we're not that weak. Have you seen how many fossil fuels we pump out every year? You see, humans are, in essence, parasites. You can say that we are parasites and the world is our host. Huh. <laughs> Very heavy. Look, the sun's coming up. Aww, game ends with a sunset. Because of course it does. Game ain't over yet. Game ain't over yet! <laughs> hey, Ben! Hey, cardboard cutout, Daniel! Come on, eh? Here, take my hand! Thank you, Ben. Aww. She's wearing the same dress, except she has a jacket this time. Hey, Daniel! I'm... I'm not too good with these social events. Nah, not me! I love these things! We have to make up for Christmas Eve. <laughs> yeah, no shit! Hi, I'm, hi, I'm Ida! Ida, Maida, however how you pronounce your name. It, it is Maida. Maya. This is my first time, so something, 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 that- because it skipped. That's because you're with I and she's all- I'm not controlling this! It's starting, shall we? I'm not! I'm not actually controlling going through the dialogue anymore. That's weird. Game, don't take away control like that. Also, they're going to the opera. At the same opera house. That is a lot of cardboard cutouts. 
<clears throat> so, uh, yeah, um, <clears throat> about, about me coming over tonight. <laughs> my com my version of this conversation is much better. Why is it skipping? Is the button stuck? No. No, it's not. Uh, the restroom must be really crowded. Yes, that's probably it. What's wrong? You seem tense. Well, he's standing right next to a very attractive woman. <gasps> who just so happens to have stupidly bitching mitochondrial power. <gasps> and it's probably awkward being in a room of cardboard cutouts. Oh, well, oh, he's going back to Japan tomorrow! Uh, ben! You're a little shitlin. You know that? Sorry, late. This isn't going to end well. It's the same opera. <laughs> Why? I would be so traumatized by the opera, I would never want to go back into the opera. Ever. Again. And yet they're doing it. Like, the next day. What? Oh, looks like the guy survived. Father, please give me permission to marry Ava. <laughs> and then the game starts over again. I forbid it! You know well what will happen if you do. Those who succumb to her beauty all die in horrible ways. You don't understand. She is the one who has suffered after the deaths. She is evil! God! Grab her! And burn her at the stake! And they bring in fire and everyone flips. Oh no! But, yep. And fire makes everybody flip a bitch. <laughs> See, at least they're phobic of something. Father. I'm being melodramatic because I'm an actor. If you're sensing her to death, then I ask you to take my life along with hers. Edward. I'm gonna sing you a song, Kay. Kay, it's gonna be a pretty song, and I'm and I'm not gonna turn into a monster, I swear. Not like that other chick. Nothing bad's going to happen. Um, would you mind sitting? We can't see. Oh, sorry. Get with it, guys! And then she sings a beautiful song and nothing bad happens. Except the entire place explodes! Oh, they found somebody with the exact same voice. <laughs> Game ends the way it began. Nice touch. Nice touch. Um, what's going on now? Hi, right, Mehta gets his first show up in a cutscene. Or nothing big. So... Repeat of prior events, perhaps? You know, they never really explain that because there is a second game and there is a second ending to this game that ends less creepily. But that is something that you can only get on a second playthrough. And like that, we have finished the game. This was Parasite Eve. My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager. Now, this game, I watched my sister play it when it first came out. And it's always had that place in my heart as something that absolutely terrifies me. To this day, every now and then, I'll have a very scary dream of being chased by Eve. 
That woman is absolutely terrifying. I mean, just think about it. Being chased by a glowing, sometimes glowing, floating monstrosity with a gigantic spike coming out of her legs. And with gigantic arms with multiple joints. And then there's that ending. You know, where you have a four-stage boss fight that, um, that immediately turns into, without giving you the chance to save, an insta-kill run away from the boss. Along with ways to turn the wrong way and get boned. It's kind of, uh, ramping up to 11, in a way. Especially because at that point, there's... If you save when you meet Wayne, there's pretty much bub kiss you can do. Once you get to the point of no return, which is just after the, um, museum, if you're underleveled, you're fucked. There's nowhere you can grind after that, because there's no way you can get to it. Which is very difficult when you have something like that ending fight that ramps it up to 11. Also, I'm not that good at dodging the second one, so I lost a lot of health. I don't think I can skip this one. I also really like the music, though. It's very nice. Um... Hold on, guys. Give me just a second. Don't worry about me. Just give me a second. Let's see, where is it? Is it this one? What the hell language is she singing in? Because the only reason I can find of this is in, uh... Is that, um, English? I can't find the- there we go. I found it. <laughs> Is it Spanish? Yes, I think it's Spanish. And it's going to go on for a long time. According to my little thingy my bob here. Nope, not even going to try. I got the chorus. <laughs> Can I skip this? Nope! I, in fact, cannot skip it. I tried. Ooh, Wong. Victor Wong and Eddie Wong. You guys are awesome and make me think of Ada. Which is good, because the next, the next game is going to be Resident Evil 3. Just like I said. Then another Spacer game. Then Code Veronica. Then another one. Then four. That's my plan. Or these ones, at least. I just gotta listen to music for a little while. Uh, I can read some names! Takayuki Higurashi, Izumi Obata, Toshinori Takada, Yoshimi Fuji, Mutsuo Tomizawa, Hiroyuki Kashima, Hiroyo Hake, Kazuyuki Hashimoto, Toshiyuki Momose, Koichi Ise, Yasu Naga Kobari, Yoshimase Yamada, Masayuki Kasuya, Yukiko Yamanaka, Takako Terashita, and then Jake! <laughs> A bunch of English people. Got some Rika, Maruya, 
Niko Nishi, Sasuko Sue, Usui, Minoru Akao, Teruaki Sugawara, and Dan, <laughs> Yoshitaka Hirota, Eiji AJ Nakamura, Shiharu Minakawa, Tak Ogawa, Masayoshi Okawa, Yoko Shimamura! That woman is beautiful and amazing at music. Oh my god. She did the music for this one and the travesty to this three. I do not fault her for that. Her music is always awesome. And they did use a lot of the music from this game and remixed it in the second one as well. But, oh, and other people might know her as the person behind the music of Kingdom Hearts. If I remember correctly. But she is kind of an amazing composer. You're just thinking about um, everything that you've heard thus far in this Let's Play. This, these credits are going to take forever, aren't they? Hey, a bunch of English people! Or, well, English names, I should say. James Son, James P. Wong. June Iwasaki, Kenji Mimu- That's still a lot of people. Lisa! Hi, Lisa! George, Rick, and Fernando. Kazuko Aita, Jeffrey, Carol, Stephanie, another Carol, Christy, Margarita, Yukiko Mori, Koji no Nomiyama, Noriko Watanabe, Shinichiro Kajitani, Naoko Kanai, Miko Nishi, Junichi Yana. Yanakihara, Akio Sakai, Junaida, Tetsuo Mizuno, Tomoyuki Takeuchi, Takashi Tokita. You did a great job at directing this game, my sir. And are we done yet? Please tell me we're done. Be nice. Got shit to do. Um... Game? Huh! And here's all of the bonus points that I get extra to immediately distribute and kick everything's ass if. 3,024 bonus points for next game. I'm just gonna go ahead and save it over, over this one. Cause I don't care that much. And that one was on the second one. I'm immediately gonna have to go through my memory card and delete these two. <laughs> After, of course, I fix all these things. Enter disc one! Yay! We've beaten the game! Woohoo! This is Miss Scarlet Tanger. I will see you all later with some Resident Evil 3. Bye!